everybody. Welcome back to Day Trader Next Door, and today I'm talking to you about something I never thought I would do, yet I have been doing for the last couple weeks, and it really has been a game changer. Now, a couple weeks ago, I had like a critical Windows error on my C drive and my PC, and I decided to fall back on my laptop in the meantime, and I haven't hooked up the PC since, even though I've got it fixed. Now, I do have a reasonably powerful laptop, but for me, trading on it, day trading on it anyway, is a no-go. And with a touchpad and the little funky keyboard and the tiny screen, it's just a no-go for me. I need more information all at once. There's too many barriers. Now, I've been curious for a while about a laptop dock, but the thing with them is they're all marketed to the MacBook crowd, and they're all Thunderbolts and all that, and I just thought, what is going to work with just a regular USB-C laptop? I got a hold of this, which is a mini Sopuru 13-in-1 uh, laptop adapter. Now I was very excited to try this but also very skeptical because it's marketed to MacBook and I have a PC and I don't have Thunderbolt or anything like that and I've got a lot of monitor you know real estate that I want to drive these are all 4k and on top of that on the back it tells you to download this display driver software to get your screen sorted and I just I thought I don't know if this is going to work. Quick spoiler, I've never downloaded that. I didn't have to. Now this has completely changed my viewpoint on it. It's completely changed my workflow. I haven't even gone back to my desktop yet. I plan to, but I really don't have any need to if I don't want to. I'll go into this shortly, but it was completely plug and play. And I wouldn't know if I didn't see what was plugged in if I was using my desktop or my laptop. So I'm going to go through it with you, show you what's in the box here, and show you how it's hooked up and how I have my system rigged up, and what you can do with something like this. Now this little dock has got quite a bit of things on it. We've got, this is the back side, so we've got three display outs, one HDMI, one display port, and then the third one has either or. HDMI or display port, we've got a LAN cable, we've got two hosts, this is our USB-C to our host, we've got a power delivery outlet right here, and then this is the plug in for the DC adapter. This is the back side of it. Now on the front we've got USB 3.2 Gen 1, another USB 3.2 Gen 1. We've got USB 3 right here, USB-C, headphone out, and then two USB 2.0s. So this does need um, external power to run. It comes with the adapter right here, and it also comes with a USB-C cable. So I'm going to hook this up to my mess of cables down here that plug into my PC. So I've got my three displays here. I actually wind up with my setup that I have um, two display ports and one HDMI going to my existing monitor. So I'm going to just try plugging them all in and see what happens. Okay, now I've got everything plugged into the device and the way I have this worked is just to make it easier. I had it like this before anyway. There's a USB hub over there which is powered, plugs into the wall. And I have my peripherals mostly plugged into that. My keyboard uh, is in there, my mouse, uh, my little um, Blackmagic uh, speed editor, and something else, not even sure what it is. And all those things are low bandwidth things, so they're all plugged into this USB hub. And that comes through into one of the USB 2.0 inputs on here. The other USB 2.0 input is my audio interface. USB-C here is going to an external hard drive. And this other 3.0 is going to my camera. And this one is another 3.0 that's still empty. On the back, this is the cable that goes to the laptop. I've got my LAN cable. Everything's Wi-Fi anyway, but I like to use a wired connection. Just want to make sure that the LAN worked, which it does. And here are my three monitors plugged into there. And of course, the DC power. Okay, so now it's all connected. What is going on here is, and you can see the mouse hopefully going here, all right, coming down here to my laptop, which is a 1080 screen. Going up here to one 4K screen here, and another 4K screen over here, and then up to yet another 4K monitor up here. This is a video color correct video editing monitor. So what's actually getting output here is the same as 13 1080p screens. And it's all running out of my HP Omen 15 laptop, which has a RTX 3060 in it, I believe. And it's a Ryzen 5000, I think it's a 5600. But it's powering all this 
More importantly though, all through this one little USB-C output. That's it, and then going into this hub down here. I didn't expect this to work so well just plugging it in without any other software, because these things are always marketed to the MacBook crowd. You know, Thunderbolt and all that, as this one is, this is essentially made for that. But I didn't expect it was going to work with just plain old USB-C. And if you go in here, I've got my UltraView desktop set up, so you've got all your individual windows, if these all work as monitors, because all the same stuff I had on my desktop is on here. So I've got, you know, three screens on the top of here, two on the bottom, and i got four on the top over here, two on the bottom, and of course another 4K display up here. And let's not forget a 1080 display here. Sorry for the reflections from the lights behind, just kind of the way it goes. If I want to open up Chrome here, I can go and put this wherever I want. Look at all the monitors I get to pick from. My UltraView. I can put it in any of these little individual monitors here. I can put it on my laptop screen down here. I can put it up on my one screen up there. Put it up there. There it goes. Put it down here. There it goes. Open up my ES chart. I can have it down here. I can put it where it usually goes. Right here. I can put it up top if I want. So I'm going to show you what's actually going on with the display settings here, so you can see what this is. So I got my laptop screen on one, the two big ones are two and three, I don't know why it's like that, I just didn't switch it, it's the way I wired it. And a four is up there, and you know, this all looked great, but I thought the one thing that's going to be the gotcha is there's no way it's doing 4K 60 to three 4K screens. Okay, so display one is the internal display, 1080, 60 hertz. Display 2 Hisense TV, 2160, 60 hertz. Display 3, same thing, 2160, 60 hertz. And display 4, the one up top, 2160, 60 hertz. So this is running three 4K monitors at 60 hertz plus a 1080 monitor at 60 hertz. All coming through my laptop GPU, going through this little hub which I've been using for a couple of weeks now with my laptop. I literally have, I've got my desktop reloaded with Windows, but I have not hooked it back up yet. I've been doing everything the last couple of weeks on my laptop, and really, you could do this all day, all the time. And really, I could just continue to use it this way. Um, I still haven't gone back to my desktop. I'm hoping to. Shortly, it's just a matter of now that I've got all the programs set up on the laptop, copying all those settings over to the desktop. But I've just been so pleasantly surprised by how well this little dock has worked, and the fact that it was plug and play, and just the amount of possibilities and redundancy it's opened up for me. Now I don't know if all docks like this are going to work with just USB-C like this one does, but I will put a link below to this specific dock so you can find one that will work if you're looking to do this with a laptop PC setup. The price is also very reasonable, it's about $220 Canadian, the US would be much less than that I'm sure. If you're somebody who doesn't want to maintain two whole setups and you have a good powerful laptop with USB-C and a good video card like this, this is a no-brainer. You don't really need a desktop at all, you can just leave everything plugged into the dock, plunk your laptop down, plug in the USB-C, and there you go. It's, uh, it's really a great option I think for those of you who don't want to maintain double setups like this. And as far as quirks, I've been using this for a couple of weeks and I really haven't found any. The closest thing to a quirk that I can think of is when you put your computer on sleep and you wake it back up, it takes maybe 10 seconds for all the monitors to wake up. But that's it. I've had no issues whatsoever. It's just been a plug and play, use it and enjoy it experience. And I really wanted to share that with you guys because this does make a realistic way you can trade on a laptop. You don't need to have all these screens, but say if you have one big screen or a couple of small screens, have your physical keyboard, your wired mouse, all those things all set to go, rather than having to fumble on the laptop. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this enjoyable. Uh, if you're into day trading, grab my cheat sheet newsletter, daytradernextdoor.com. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys again soon.